What's up, Jonah? Hope you're having a great weekend. I am just cleaning up the house a bit. I was uh, doing a little rearranging, trying to get some stuff clean today. And anyways, I wanted to talk to you. I posted my video of me doing Moonlight Sonata the other day. And while I was recording it, I became incredibly aware of something that I wanted to talk to you about today, which is something that I recently learned is called one cheek playing. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna make it really quick as fast as possible, but when you play piano, especially when you first start learning, you learn it like note for note. So you begin learning things like Right, so you're basically putting what's called intonation or the emotion on every single note, you know, and let's even take away the sustain pedal. As you get better at remembering, like, you know, being, either being able to read the music or actually just playing from muscle memory, you're not really thinking about note for note, you start thinking about the actual sounds you're creating. <clears throat> and that's where, like, things like the sustained pedal, there's a lot of big difference between that and, um, I'm already doing it right now. See, this is what's so funny, is that after you stop learning note for note, I found this tendency to lean when I'm playing. Like, I literally lean on one cheek. And I don't know when I started doing that. I'm sure if I was playing on the other side of the keyboard, I'd probably lean a little more. And I, it's so funny because I heard about that when I was listening to a TED talk that my friend Shane Swore sent me, or actually we watched it together. Um, but it was done about uh, a TED talk about classical music and, and how influential it is. And people don't give it enough credit. And but one of my biggest takeaways was just I would never heard anyone else talk about the fact that they tend to lean on one butt cheek while they're playing. And I know that as a makeup artist, I actually do something really similar, which is that when I first started doing makeup, I did makeup like very ham handedly, you know, it was like brush in hand, jab at face. And at some point I was watching, I watched a makeup department head that I, I'm very fond of, Ed Henriquez. And I was watching his hands, and Ed is a big guy, right? You know, he's a uh, very portly, very jolly looking guy. He's, he doesn't look delicate or dainty, um, but his hands move so soft and so beautifully. And I realized that like, my hands didn't move anything like that. And I tried to like start thinking about what was getting in the way, and I realized how rigid I was. And so I decided that I needed to relax, and by relaxing, this weird fluid hand motion just started coming into play by itself. And I always think that's really funny. These sort of like, these things that just come out almost organically out of becoming more comfortable and learning something and taking your art to a higher level where it's more about emotion than just technical craft. But yeah, that's one cheek playing. I thought it was super interesting. And I'm wondering, you know, I, I mentioned makeup and piano, but what are some areas in your life where you feel like you found yourself organically leaning on one butt cheek, so to speak? But anyways, looking forward to see what you think about that, and I can't wait to hear it. I'll check you later. See you on Monday.